Hi Emma, um, welcome to your finals examinations. If you could please um, examine Vivian's knees and present your findings back to me please. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name's Emma Cameron. I'm one of the fifth year medical students. Can I ask your name please? My name is Vivian Serpa. Okay. Hi Vivian, it's nice to meet you. I've been asked to examine your knees today. Just involve me having a look, a feel and asking you to do some movements at your knee. Does that sound okay? Yes. Yeah, and have you got any pain in your knees at all no. today? And if it's all right with you, um, as I'm going through the examination, I'll talk back to my examiner, explain the kind of things that I'm looking for and what I'm doing. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So if I can first ask you to just stand in front of me. I'm just going to have a look at your knees. So I'm looking for any varus or valgus deformities, any fixed flexion, scars, skin changes, and any wasting of the quadriceps muscles. If you can turn to your right for me. Turn to your right again. At the back, I can look for any popsial aneurysms or cysts. Can you turn to your right again for me, please? And face me again. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to ask you to walk for me, so if you could just walk to the end of the room, turn around and come back. So I'm just looking at the symmetry and smoothness of Vivian's gait. Your ability to turn on the spot. Thank you. You can pop back on the couch for me now. So I'm just going to have a closer look at your knees now. Ideally for this examination I'd like you exposed so I could see the whole of your thigh, but for this we'll leave you covered up. Um, so I have a closer look for any scars or anything that I missed on gross examination. Okay, now I'm going to have a feel of your knees. Let me know if there's any pain at any point. Okay. So just feel for the temperature first, just any sign of inflammation. Next I'm going to check for fluid in your knee. So that just checks for any fluid in the patella pouch. And this is what's called the ripple test. Okay, that's great, thank you. And if you could bend both your knees up slightly for me. I'm just going to have a feel of your knee now. Um, let me know if there's any pain or tenderness at any point. So I'll start by feeling around the patella. In the medial joint line, in the lateral joint line, the tibial tuberosity, and at the back of the knee. Okay, you're going to do the same on your other leg, so if you can bend this one up for me. Again, let me know if there's any pain or tenderness at any point. Okay, that's brilliant. You can relax your legs down for me now. So I'm going to ask you to do some movements at your knee. And I'm going to let you do them first and then I'll do some of them for you. So if you could bend um, your knee and bring your heel as far towards your bottom as you can. And relax it back down. And the same on this side. And relax it back down. Now I'm going to do the same movement for you. So let me take the weight of your leg. I'm just feeling for any crepitus in the joint as I move them. Brilliant, thank you. So I'm just going to check to look for any posterior sag. All right, thank you. Now I'm just going to do some pushing and pulling of your knee. So just testing the anterior and posterior Q-shaped ligaments. Yeah, thank you. So now I'm going to test um, the collateral ligaments in your knee. So you can relax this leg down for me and let me take the weight of this leg. So I'm just pushing and pulling on your knee. And the same on this leg. Brilliant, thank you very much. That's the end of the examination. You can relax now, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, in summary, I saw Vivian today and examined her knees. On inspection, there were no obvious abnormalities or deformities, and her gait was smooth and symmetrical. On palpation, there was no increase in temperature or swelling of the joint and no tenderness. On a movement, there was a full range of both active and passive movement, and on testing of the ligaments, there was no laxity or instability of the collateral or cruciate ligaments. To complete my examination, I'd like to assess the joint above at the hip, below at the ankle, do a full neurovascular assessment of the lower limb, and look at any available imaging. Okay. Thank you.
you can move to your next station, that's great.